Okay guys, so by now you should have filled out the worksheet with all of the personal information, listing all current addresses, um, listing any social security or date of birth discrepancies, um, listing out any names and aliases that you've never used or gone by. Also make sure you write down any of the employment information that's inaccurate on the worksheet. So you should have done that by now, great job. Now we need to move on to inquiries. And before I get into identifying the inquiries, it's important that I talk about the importance of why we wanna correct inquiry information. Now, if you go to a car dealership, for instance, and you authorize them to pull your credit, you may authorize them to pull your credit one time. They shop it to 20 or 30 different banks. They tell you that it's because they wanna get you the lowest interest rate possible. Well, that's BS. They're looking for the biggest bank fee or kickback or dealer incentive so that they make as much money as possible on that deal on the back end. Here's an example, you guys. If you look at this, this is taken from uh, a credit report, but if you look there, look at that list of people that pulled credit and look at the dates. They're all pulled in June of 2016 around the same weekend or something. They must have been car shopping. But if you look, you'll see Ray Skillman, Ally Financial, Capital One, Prestige, Capital One Auto Finance, Chase Auto, and the list goes on. Chrysler. They pulled their credit so many different times, all along, around the same dates. Inquiries can absolutely murder your score. There's this myth out there that you have a 30-day shopping window. Well, that's only true if they're coded the same way and pulled through the same provider of reports. So it's very important that you identify any unauthorized inquiries and you work to remove them from your report. If you get 15 inquiries knocked off, it could boost your score 40 or 50 points. That's why inquiries are so important to remove from the report when they don't belong there. I'll see you in the next lesson.